Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to test out the handwriting and note-taking capabilities of the Samsung Tab S4. Now, if you are looking for a tablet mostly to take notes with, I would recommend the previous model, the Samsung Tab S3, because it's $200 US cheaper. When it comes to handwriting, note-taking, the performance is essentially the same, so you can save a lot of money with the previous model. Okay, with my test today, I will be using these four apps Squid, Wacom Bamboo Paper, Nebo, and Ink Credible. So let's start with Squid. Squid is a very popular app on Android. When it comes to taking notes with a stylus and tablet, there are a few things I'm concerned with. The first and most important is accuracy, whether there's any misalignment, parallax, do the lines come up wobbly, is the pen cursor always beneath the pen tip. And I'm really happy to say that with the Samsung Tab S4 and uh, S Pen, this is a very accurate combination. And the second point is whether there is any lag. Let me write something to let you see for yourself. There is slight lag, actually very minimal. By like, I mean there is this little gap between the line and the pen tip as you are writing or drawing. But overall, I would consider this to be very responsive. Actually, if you look at the iPad Pro, if you look very closely, there is also that little gap there, that little lag. And the third point is palm rejection, how well it works. And it works really well. So while I was writing all these letters earlier, palm rejection was working and it works really well. There are no stray strokes at all. All right, let's jump to the next app, Wacom Bamboo Paper. This is actually my favorite app to take notes with. And the reason for that is because this app can capture my handwriting really well. I think more accurately compared to Squid. And this is a very responsive app. And there is also pressure sensitivity. I love writing with this app. And now I'm using Nebo. Nebo is an app where you can convert your handwriting into editable text. Let's take a closer look. So here you can see brown, B-R-O-W-N. These two letters, R and O, they are so close together and the app was able to read those letters. Here as well, F-O. It reads properly, reads very accurately. Here as well, I have my cursive letter, T-H-E, is able to read that as well. D-O-G, it looks like A-O-G, but the app still reads it as dog. So this is very accurate. Let me double click this, and it can turn into editable text. Nable, unfortunately, is not free. The other three apps that I've used, Squid, Wacom Bamboo Paper, and Incredible, they are free, but you need to pay to unlock all the features. This is Incredible. This is also a very good app for taking notes. You may see some styles like as if there is pressure sensitivity, but actually there isn't any pressure sensitivity. All these styles, all these ink blobs, they are actually the styles from the app itself. This is also a very responsive app. Overall, the Tab S4 and the Samsung S Pen really accurate when it comes to taking notes. For the apps that I've tried, they are all very responsive, so that's great. So that's it for the handwriting and note-taking test. I'm very satisfied with its capability. This is very accurate. There is minimal lag for all the apps that I have used and palm rejection works almost flawlessly. So this is a fantastic tablet to take notes with. But as mentioned earlier in the video, if you just want to use the tablet to take notes most of the time, I recommend the previous model, Samsung Galaxy Tab S3, because it's significantly cheaper and the performance is actually no different compared to the Tab S4. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!